Hello everyone, welcome back to this week's taste test video. We've got six items to try, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I know this looks very appetizing to you and you can't wait to dig in. So let me share with you what this is. This is the Indian Fair Coconut Chickpea Curry. It's a creamy recipe with turmeric and aromic spices. So I, have you ever had a curry before? Yeah. Have you? Curry? Yeah, I don't think I have had curry before and I don't like chickpeas, so we'll see how this goes. It doesn't look good either. I mean, it yeah, it doesn't really look good. And I think the best way probably to serve this would be over rice, but we didn't have any, so we're just gonna eat it as is, warmed it up, and let's dig in. The color of the food is the same color as the bag. Kind of, yeah. It's Gross. like, yeah. Well, it's like the color, I think, of like a, the bos I was gonna say the basmati rice, but like the rice that we use um, for, what is it called, the euros? Like the yellow rice. Oh, yeah. It's that color, turmeric. So I bet you there's turmeric in here, so. Yeah. Here we go. I'm just really worried about the chickpeas. I just don't like the texture of chickpeas for some reason. Okay. All right, it smells gross. Oh, man. You're right, the texture's horrible. I don't mind the flavor. I think I would actually like to try an actual curry. Like, uh, does curry normally come with like meat? I think I would like the meat version of this because I really like the flavor of it. Um, it's just the the chickpeas. I don't like the crunchiness. It's not crunchy, it's, yeah. it's like a soft uh, ball kind of. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but I just don't like chickpeas. It, it's just a personal thing, but I really like the flavor of it. No. no. What do you think? No. <laughs> what do you think of the flavor overall? The flavor? Yeah. The flavors. I. It's not absolutely disgusting. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I don't like it. Like okay. I don't want any more. Yeah. He's, you're not a big fan of Indian food. Like you don't really even like tikka masala and butter chill. Like I mm -hmm. love all that stuff. My just thing is I just don't like chickpeas, so that's why I don't really like this. Someone asked about the spice level though. I don't think it's spicy. Do you think it's spicy? No, it's not spicy. It's a mild, so yeah. definitely don't worry about that. It's a, a mild spice. So if yeah. you like chickpeas and you like a curry, you're looking for like a vegetarian dish, I think you would enjoy this. It has very nice flavors in it. Um, it's just a personal thing, like I said. But I know they, um, when I picked this up, there was other ones next to it. So I think I'm gonna try one of the other ones without chickpeas because like I said, flavor's on point. And I don't mean to be so negative about it, but I just don't like it. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. I mean, you're allowed to not like it, so. All right, so next up, hopefully something good, is Trader Joe's Not Your Average Salsa Verde mm -hmm. Chicken Enchiladas. There we go, that sounds like something you'll like. It does sound good. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's shredded dark chicken meat. Yeah. Interesting. Rolled in corn tortillas, topped with salsa verde, cheese, and peppers, mm -hmm. with a net weight of 16.5 ounces. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So, let's try it. So, something that I did want to point out, I think this is in the freezer action, but the enchiladas, here they are right here, it just comes right straight in this bag. Like, there's no plastic film over it, so it says to just, like, cut um, a little piece. I cut the whole thing because I thought there was going to be, like, a plastic, you know, film over it, and there wasn't. But this is what it looks like. There is a bunch of, looks like peppers. Yeah, peppers on top, so... It looks a little dry on top. It, it does look a little dry. So you we'll microwave you that. this? How'd you make this? Yeah, okay. I did put it in the microwave. It says you could put it in the oven, but I did not have time to wait because it took 40 minutes. So, Wow. yeah, I microwaved it. Okay, I have a big bite right here. Ooh, a big bite. Mmm. I'm trying the non-dry mm -hmm. spot. This would be perfect with the green dragon hot sauce. That's really good. Some good mush. That is really good, especially for like a frozen enchilada. I really like the corn tortilla uh, because I mentioned earlier I love corn tortillas and I've been making homemade corn tortillas lately. It almost tastes like a homemade version. Mm -hmm. Would you say? I definitely think so. Nice, um, that salsa verde flavor is really good. There's a bunch of chicken in there, the nice like creamy green sauce. It's really good, I really like that. What do you think? So it's good. Okay. I Two things that stand out for me. Okay. You're right, the tortilla. Yeah, it's a really good tortilla. Tortilla is good, mm -hmm. it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. And I definitely taste the dark chicken meat. Oh, do you? I, it, it, it tastes a little different. Oh, and okay. it, not in a bad way, 
Well, dark meat is actually like better because it's more um, moist. Like white yeah. white meat um, tends to dry out more. So, so the chicken in this is really mushy and like very fine and shredded. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like mush. I mean, mush, chi mush chicken. That's usually how they are in, in enchiladas. Yeah, okay. yeah. But anyways, I can just I can just like, eat, keep eating this. This is so good. <laughs> yeah. But uh, overall, I say it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Not bad for being in a plastic bag and microwaved. Exactly. Yeah. If you guys like um, a salsa verde and you're not vegetarian or anything, I would recommend this. I think it's really good, especially for like a frozen enchilada. Really good. Um, I'm actually surprised about this. It has a little bit of a spice to it. I'm getting like a little spice later on, but it's nothing overpowering at all. I think you'll be fine, but there is a little spice there. I think this is spicier than the curry. I would say a this bit. is a good like personal lunch. Like if you're gonna yeah. have a lunch just mm -hmm. for yourself, like don't go out feeding your family this because I would probably be sad if you did feed them this <laughs> in my family. Yeah, no, but, like, it's a perfect for lunch, lunch or a yeah. snack, not snack, but. Yeah, it's just for yourself, it's a good. Yeah, or if like you're gone and then I want to have like yeah. a dinner, you know, because I'm not going to make anything big, this would be good. And pair it with the Spanish style rice too, perfect side dish for this. Yeah. So, okay, I am dying of thirst after those first two. So we've got a new sparkling drink to try. I love this color of this can in my haul. It was in the box, so I didn't see what color it was, and it's this cute pink color. I love it, but it's the sparkling guava juice beverage. So it's guava. Yes, guava. And I like guava, I think. Um, I've noticed though in the video, I forgot to put the nutrition facts in my haul. So I'm gonna put it up here uh, while we're trying it in case you guys wanted to see that. But let's dig in or <coughs> drink in. I don't know. Bottoms so up. So you instantly smell the guava. Oh, I just, I just got it. It's kind of stinky. Oh. Stinky drink. Hmm, it doesn't stink. It's a stinky guava drink. Okay, I just read something though. Instructions for enjoyment. One, sit. Two, ah. Uh, three, repeat. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was cute. Did you read that? That's funny. I like that. That's really good. It's a nice refreshing drink, especially for summer too. I think that's perfect. And I'm not even like a big fan of those either, but I like this So one. I like the little juice drinks. I, yeah. I've always had. Uh-huh. I knew you have. Yeah. The gua I'm just not a guava Oh, person, okay. Uh-huh. But it's okay. It's okay. I love the aftertaste. Yeah, no. Like when I first drink it, like right now, watch. I don't think there is an aftertaste. That's oh, why I like it. Oh, oh wow. It's like uh, crisp and clean. So that's why they have that there. Yeah. It's because at first, when you first, when it first hits your tongue, you're like, oh, and then it's like, oh. Ah, it's like a that green, makes sense. It's like a clean, refreshing drink, like sodas. I do not like sodas, and they have a horrible aftertaste. Like that's what I yeah. hate about them. Uh, this is just nice, crisp, and clean. I really like this. It says made with guava juice and plenty of bubbles. Um, let's see here. Guava juice beverages sips like a sweet tropical daydream on a warm, sunny day. It's perfect pick for picnics, great for packing of lunches, and good for a satisfying and suddenly sweet craving. So if you guys like guava, definitely would recommend this or just give this a try. Like I said, you guys can pick up just one can to see if you like it, but I really like this one. So. First it's sour, then it's sweet. Mm, cheers. Ah. Uh... All right, so I'm not sure what this is here. <laughs> Neither am I. Hey, no one commented. Is this item new or not? Like, have you guys ever seen this item in your stores before? Let me know, because I'm really curious. Am I just like losing it or not? I would love to know. <laughs> so she's talking about the Trader Joe's yes. Lemon Herb Ooh. Macaroni Salad. Ooh, you said that like fancy, I feel like. Because I'm fancy. Yeah, pinky's out. But, uh yeah yeah so i'm not sure if this item's new or not i just picked it up because i had never seen it before so i wanted to give it a try and we're not going to salt and pepper it this time we're eating it as is mister yes so we have a problem what is there all those no there's olives? no olives let's read the what are those chunky dark bits? there's a bunch of stuff in there it looks i don't know looks really fresh like it looks like there's a bunch of ingredients so macaroni uh, let's see here. There's Bunch of ingredients, mayonnaise, natural lot. flavor. Okay, cucumbers, or that's, oh, dill, relish, celery, 
green onions, capers, that's what you're looking at. There's capers in here. Lemon juice, parsley, lemon zest, sugar, black pepper, yeah. So no olives, but there's capers in do here. Do you know what capers are? Yes, I do. They're like these um, little, they look like little balls almost. I'm not a big fan of them personally, but it's, if it's in something, I don't think I mind it, but I would never seek it out to add it to in a recipe. I have never heard of capers. Okay, well now you have. Let's see if you like them. Is it a bush? <laughs> I don't have to say where it comes from now. That's going too far. I don't know where it hails from. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I get a, a caper. Uh, you got plenty there. I'm gonna go over here. I don't want those. Hmm. Whoa, very dilly. Yeah. Oh. Wow. I think I told you guys, I'm not a, usually a big fan of prepared macaroni salad. But I have to say, that's one of the best ones that I've ever tried. It tastes really fresh. I think it's because of like all the parsley in there. And like you said, the dill, I love dill. So that really stands out. And like, it just, it's, it tastes so fresh. It's growing And like, already. yeah. And like it, the mayonnaise is really good on it too. Like it doesn't have like that weird, I don't know, taste. Like this is really good. I actually really like this one. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but it is good. It is. It's mm -hmm. very, like my first bite, I was like, whoa, because it's yeah. straight dill. Yeah, it has a lot of flavors going on in it. It does. Mm -hmm. But I love how, well, first off, it's super cold. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's just good. I like yeah. it. It tastes pretty good. This is really good. A really pleasant surprise. And this one also says lemon. Do you taste, do you taste lemon? So, I, that's why I kept taking bites because I'm trying to taste the lemon. Okay. Mm-hmm. The dill is so strong, I think mm -hmm. it's kind of masking the lemon taste. Yeah, I can taste it a little bit, but definitely like that is like the last ingredient that I taste. Like you said, you're gonna get the dill, the freshness, the mayonnaise, uh, the celery in there. Lemon's kind of like the last thing that you taste, but it's fine. Like, I think this is perfect. If you guys like a macaroni salad and you guys see this at your store, I would give this one a try. I really yeah. liked it. And what's nice about this is not a dry, it's really wet. It is, yes. And Tons of like good. the sauce in it. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. Okay, so we have this French vinaigrette with shallots to try. So a new, I guess, salad dressing. Although one of you guys in the comments did suggest to put this like on a chicken cutlet, which I don't know, that sounds like it would be really good. Um, but I did not have any salad. I just finished the last of it um, with lunch today. So we are just gonna try this straight up today. So that's how we roll. Let's do it. Okay, try some. So it looks gross. It's got floaties in it. Must mm. be the shallots. Straight up is, it's strong. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it's strong if you take a shot of that, but I love a good vinaigrette. I really like that. That is really good. I like it. What do you think? He's more of like a ranch and like Caesar person, so. It's all right. Yeah, it's really good. I like the flavor of it. It's really hard to describe. And, and you're definitely gonna taste that vinaigrette flavor. You do actually get the shallots. I'm getting the shallots now. Uh, red wine vinegar so uh, and mustard seeds. So it tastes like your everyday um, red wine vinaigrette, really. It doesn't taste much different from a red wine vinaigrette. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed this. I'll definitely use this for my salads. What do you think? It's all right. It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, could, I could eat it if I had to. If I was okay. starving, there's no other food in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> High praise coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we have the Japanese Sawafu Cheesecakes. Two airy and moist crustless cheesecakes. Okay. So what was that word again? I said Sawafu. Oh, okay. How do you say that? I think it's souffle. That's how I said oh, it. But now that you say souffle, I, I don't even trust myself anymore with hold this. On, hold stuff. on, hold on. Souffle gotta be fancy. Yes. So two Japanese cheesecakes. That sounds good. We love some cheesecake around here. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah. So I open, like Japanese food too. Yeah. Open this up. I want to see it. Oh, interesting. Oh, that is that is interesting. So it looks like a hamburger. <laughs> it kind of does. Well, I wasn't even gonna say that. But yeah, it's like, it's bigger than I thought. And it looks like fluffy, but this is are the nice gonna, cheesecake bottom. Are we gonna share? Yeah. Let's share first, and then well, if you want your own. Open. Yeah, we'll do this one. Well, I'll put this hamburger here. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Ooh, I, got I, got a fork. A, I got a spoon. My um, fork's used. We're going with what we got. Okay, here we go. Okay. Wow. Very airy. Oh. And light. Weird. I'm used to like a, a thick cheesecake. It's very airy. Very airy. Yeah, the texture is completely different from a traditional cheesecake. Yep. The cheesecake flavor too is very mild. Agree. Like usually, like I used to not like cheesecake because it's, it's just not so. Rich at all. Yeah, it's not. It's a very light, airy dessert. Yeah. And mild in flavor. So if you like that, it's not bad by all means. It's just like a nice little dessert. Agreed. Nothing crazy special about it, but yeah. it's not bad and it's nothing too sweet at all. So if you don't really like a too sweet um, cheesecake or too sweet dessert, maybe try this one because it, it's really mild. Very mild. I would say it's light and mm -hmm. I, I definitely want to make it disappear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me try it one more time to make sure I got all the bases covered. Go for it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's a good hamburger. <laughs> okay, so that was everything that we had to try this week. Um, do you have any favorites? Oh, I'm still thinking. You want me to go first? I have my top two. So my number one, shockingly, I never would have guessed this going into this week was the macaroni salad. I cannot believe I'm saying the macaroni salad was number one because this girl does not eat prepared macaroni salad, but that was so good. I'm so pleasantly surprised. And then I would say the number two were the chicken enchiladas. Those were really good, especially for a frozen. Like I never really have high hopes for those, but it exceeded my expectations. And yeah, those are my top two, but I'm definitely gonna drink some more of this drink because I'm thirsty after that cheesecake. So you go <laughs> while I drink. All right, so uh, speaking of cheesecake, that is gonna be my number one. The cheesecake? Wow. Just because it's cheesecake. I mean, yeah, you love cheesecake, so yeah, I'm not it's surprised. It's good, like I can eat that whole thing and be happy. Mm-hmm. You know, if I was to eat the enchiladas, I'd, I'd be okay. I wouldn't be like ecstatic about my dinner. Okay. So that's not- That's because you're used to my home cooked meals. I'm bougie sometimes. He's bougie, I've spoiled him. <laughs> yes. And I can't believe I'm gonna say this. But number two is the macaroni. What? Salad. Okay, so you guys know that macaroni salad is good if it's in both of our top twos. And that's dill flavored. Yeah. And like, I'm not a big dill person, but- uh -huh. And I got smacked in the face by the dill. <laughs> and I was like, oh. But as I kept eating it, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. Yeah, so you just I, keep I going. Like it. So number one, cheesecake. Two is the macaroni salad. Okay, well you heard it here first. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this week and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.